Hey YouTube, how are we doing today? So I am wearing my orange garb, so my veteran uh, viewers will know what's happening. Basically, it's my YouTube fishing outfit, <laughs> okay? What's YouTube fishing? YouTube fishing is a playlist that I created on my channel, which is geared towards helping other YouTube fishing channels to catch more subscribers and get more views. So it's basically some tips and tricks much the same as my fishing tips and tricks, but in regards of creating your own YouTube channel, how to do the behind the scenes stuff, what to look for, how to do the reporting and so forth. Just a lot of background information to kind of help out those new YouTube channels or even existing channels that haven't had the experience to deal with those sort of things. Uh, if you go to that playlist and then check out YouTube Fishing, you'll see a bunch of them that I started back in January. Um, and I was doing them about a once a week uh, during the winter time when I really wasn't able to get out to fish all that often because of the weather. Now I also have the YouTube Paycheck videos, that also a playlist that you might have seen a couple of videos ago, but that's more just basically the financial side, how much I made, and then any other factors that contributed to that, uh, any trends and so forth. But this is mainly just to help out those uh, YouTube fishing channels or outdoor channels, or I guess it'd help uh, regular channels as well. Also for those people that wa just watch YouTube, don't have a channel, but are interested in knowing like, how does this thing work? What do you have to do? And I do a lot of introductory stuff about that as well, even to the point of how to make a YouTube fishing video. So we are actually also at a point that this is my two year anniversary. Actually last month was my two year anniversary on YouTube. So for this first video of this winter season of this YouTube fishing playlist, I think what I'm going to do is kind of just do an overview of my two year time frame, um, how the channel's performing, give you some background data of how I grew my channel and uh, just facts about the channel that most likely you wouldn't know by just what you can see on my channel header. And I think you'll find it kind of interesting. And then after that, um, next week, I'll start pumping in more of the pick a subject and then kind of go in detail about it. So anyways, let's go to my board of knowledge. Okay, that's my dry erase board I have on the side of the wall. It's in one of my videos as well about keeping organized. But anyways, let's go to that and then I'll throw some numbers at you so you can see how my channel basically progressed to where it's at. Okay, here we are at my board of knowledge. Uh, we're just gonna go over just some of the factual information about my channel, uh, just a quick breakdown basically. Uh, one of the things for you to know is I'm not a big secrets guy uh, when it comes to fishing or this YouTube stuff. Um, I'm not sure people get, I guess, too competitive over stuff and they let that overtake the enjoyment part of it. So, I mean, stuff is what it is. I mean, there's, we're not competing against each other, so it's, it is what it is. But, so this is the background information for my channel. Uh, it was born on October 23, 2015 so that was my first video and I'm actually if you go to the, my first video I'm actually very proud of that video because it does even on that first video it basically depicts exactly what I wanted my channel to be and is to this point so if you want to check it out it's actually pretty good um, views I just uh, cycled uh, roughly around 15 million views total for my channel um, right at 70,000 subscribers uh, so far, my channel's made $19,487 up to a few days ago. I've created around 500 videos so far, and I'll bring that up, up again in one of my strategy videos on coming up here real quick. Uh, and you need to remember, each one of those videos takes between 10 to 14 hours to make. So just add that up, how much time I've got invested in the, all these videos. Uh, watch time, that, that means how, much how many minutes people spent watching my videos was 78,509,257 minutes. And the average view was 5 minutes and 19 seconds. 
So that's like the key components of a channel that's kind of the gauges of how a channel's doing, but that's kind of Key West kayak fishing. Okay, so this is what everybody looks forward to. Um, but I always try to remind people that subscribers makes you zero dollars. You don't get paid a cent for subscribers. It's all about the views. But here's my basically month to month breakdown. So you can kind of see <coughs> my channel's trend in regards to subscribers. So again, uh, my channel started October, 2015. Uh, this is 2015, October. First month I made six subscribers, rocking. Then the next month I made 45, and in December I made 58. These uh, circles of the months are just basically highlight points. So that December was my first 100 subscriber group that I made. So it took me basically three months to uh, make my first 100 subscribers. And again, I'm really motivated to help other YouTube fishing channels to kind of succeed and just to show you, it just doesn't come overnight, okay? There are some channels out there that just blew up, but majority of them, it's all about the grind. Same thing in fishing, okay? You can get lucky, but it's better to bank on just grinding it out and being consistent. Then we go to January, February, March, and then April was my next milestone. I got my first 500 subscribers. So basically in six or seven months, I was up to 500 subscribers. Then May, June, and then July. That was my 1,000 subscribers first uh, look there. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten months. Almost a year to get 1,000 subscribers. Then down to September, that milestone was I went to 2,500 uh, subscribers. You can see that growth there. So I was doing double digits, hundreds, hundreds, 250, then 1100 all in one month. Then in October, that 38.99, I was up uh, 5,000 tier there. And then in November, I did 5,000 in one month. So that got me to the 10,000 tier. Look at those numbers just in that little category there. And I will be having a video about this if you don't understand why. Then uh, our next milestone was in March of this year, 2017. And that was my 25,000 uh, anniversary there. Uh, then we go to, well, actually, so my first year, I did 5,000, my first full year from October to October, I did 5,000 subscribers. Then March of this year was 25,000. Then July of this year was my 50,000 border. And then November this month, I'm right at 70,000. So that's kind of how my growth pattern worked there. So you can kind of take a look and be able to break it down yourself. Hit your pause button, write it all down, screen capture it if you want to, but that's generally the subscriber breakdown for my channel. All right, some more key informational pieces there. And this is something that not a lot of people look at, but it's really impactful. Um, and that's demographics, basically meaning who's watching your videos. I mean, they're your customers. If you don't know who your customers are, I mean, really are you doing a good job of uh, targeting your audience? So one of the key things that I pulled out of mind was my female to male ratio of viewers. I'm actually at 10.2% females watch my video. So one out of every uh, 10 uh, viewers is female. And I think that's exceptional. I would like to say I'd probably be targeting, if I can get to the 15% rate, I think I'd be very good. Um, but you also have to remember this is a male dominated genre. So it's a little bit tougher than say electronics or beauty or fashion or something like that. But I mean, I think my numbers there are actually fairly good. Another category is age of demographics is age. Now I only wrote two. One is the 65 and older group is 3.8% of my viewers. And that's actually the smallest group of, of my target, target audience. But my neg number two smallest is actually the 13 to 17 year old. I call them the young guns out there. The guys are just hardcore young guys that go fishing all the time. 
but that only makes up 5.7% of it. Now, it's not that they're bad to have and I don't want them to watch, but on a business side of it, okay, the category that you want to have the lowest really is this age group here, okay? Because the people that have the money are that 25 to 45 age range, and then you could flex over a little bit. And it's all about who's got money and who's got time when it comes down to the business side of it. For me, I really wanna bump up the 65 and older, not only because it's just my last category, but because where I'm at in Key West, Florida, it's a retirement center, it's a place to go because uh, we have what's called snowbirds when the mainland is and during the winter time, cold, freezing, rainy, snowing, okay, we get what called the snowbirds, the white hair group, come down from the mainland and set up camp in the Keys for uh, two, three, four months while the winter time, okay, and we get tons of people down here. So I should have a better number. I think that's actually a good number, but I would like to see even a better number. I would just need to spend a little bit of quality time focusing on that group and in order to bulk up that number. Uh, another category is subscribers versus non-subscribers non watching my videos. Now, one thing you need to know about my channel is, is that I've never, never asked for people to subscribe to my channel. I don't ask for watch my videos, don't ask them to like and all that stuff that you always see in the thing, oh, like, subscribe, like, subscribe, like, subscribe throughout the whole video. Okay, for me, it's, it's um, I'm very specific, like I'm looking at these things here on, I'm not looking for just bulk numbers, okay? Um, down the line you'll see is that having clean numbers to me is more important than just grandiose numbers. So that's why I don't do contests, I'm really not doing giveaways, um, I don't do collaborations because I wanna control my viewers by the content that I'm putting out there that I know that if they're watching my stuff, they've come because they're interested in my stuff. And I'm very keen on focusing on the people that are interested in the Florida Keys. Um, so, but that's down the road. And then also another demographic that a lot of people don't really look at, and I was actually surprised by, that, by this because it has changed since the last time I looked at it, is who's watching your videos in regards to what nationality. Now, this dropped significantly. Now, my viewers are 67, 68% are from the United States. So that's basically 32%, one out of every three people is watching it from internationally. I was extremely surprised about that. So the breakdown is my uh, most to least in just the core four is uh, Australia at 2.9, uh, UK at 2.7, Canada at 2.5, and Germany at 1.7. Uh, so I do have a lot of international viewers. Out of that, one of the key things I need to work on is this, Australia uh, 2.9. I think I can increase that quite a bit for a couple of reasons. One is that I do have some connections with some fishing YouTube channels that are based out of the uh, Australia. Uh, the other thing is Australia is um, more of a big game focused type of fishing industry, okay? Um, they have all sorts of fishing, but their big game in particular is, is, is pretty strong, and they're kind of uh, hardcore slash type, 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 type of fishing is very prevalent over there. The conditions that they go fishing in, the types of boats they use, the types of fish they catch, that kind of stuff is definitely kind of upper above what we have in the US, but that does kind of fit with my channel because I think that, that adventure type fishing is kind of fits with my channel. So I think I can match up a little bit better than what I'm doing there. But anyways, there's a kind of look at some of my background demographics. Um, definitely, if you have a YouTube channel and you're interested in building it, you wanna focus on these type of things. Think of it as your own small business. How would you wanna run it? Um, if it wasn't your business and you're just doing it for fun, I guarantee you're probably never looking at this stuff. But if it's your paycheck that pays your rent and supports your family and keeps a roof over your head, I guarantee you're looking at this stuff because you can impact your channel quite a bit by knowing what's going on. Okay, and the last section that I kind of want to go over is my channel strategy for you to understand 
what was my focus for my channel. But I again, go back to my first video, my introductory video, it explains it to the T. I'm so happy, I watch it every once in a while and it's spot on, okay? So check that out if you want to. But my strategies for my channel and has been since day one is fishing, 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 okay? I am a fishing channel and I wanna make sure people understand that there's no gray in that, okay? You watch my channel, it's about fishing. I have the rare non, I mean, no, I don't really think I have a non, non-fishing. Uh, I guess the hurricane would be somewhat non. Um, the repair stuff I do is, they're my, gets me to my fishing, so. Yeah, I really have keep it like very centered on fishing, okay? Just fishing, more fishing, and more fishing. Strategy part of it too was videos, videos, videos. Pump out lots of videos, okay? Basically, just put out a ton of videos. In two years, I've put out 500 videos. And that is a strategy because like I said, uh, you could do a lot less and try to focus on the cinematic style and just hope and pray that it gets picked up and takes off. Me, I'm a grinder, okay? I just like my fishing. I'll catch more fish because I'll spend a lot of damn hours out of that water. Uh, fishing, learning about fishing, learning about the bait, learning about currents, learning, 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 okay? That's how I learned YouTube. I never did YouTube or anything close to it prior to October, 17th or whatever that was. So I just knew that I would learn faster by pumping out tons of video and just getting it out there and being able to adjust by having all that information to work off of. So I think I've accomplished that as well. The other strategy part was my focus is on Key West slash the Florida Keys. Um, you type in Key West fishing or Florida Keys fishing, what do you get? Our sizzle offshore, of course. <laughs> but you scroll down a little bit below her, okay? It's Key West kayak fishing, Key West kayak fishing, Key West kayak fishing. I guarantee you put Key West kayak anything. I mean, that, that's me and all me, okay? But you have to remember that one of the things that I understood right off the beginning is Key West and the Florida Keys is a world class fishing destination. I mean, it is by far like the top tier of the United States by way far, but we're talking world-class in that you go to foreign countries and ask, where would you like to go fish? And they're gonna say the Florida Keys, okay? So I knew having that as part of my channel was a step up. It's just like taking pictures of a city dump, okay? Just a blog gray, city dump on a fall afternoon with no sun and overcast, whatnot, just dreary. But yet you put a supermodel and a bikini in front of that and you'll have everybody <laughs> looking at that picture saying, you're a great photographer, all right? So I have that same background as a supermodel, but I have the Florida Keys and as well as that world-class fishing destination. On top of that, there's not a lot of info, well now there's not, there wasn't a lot of information about fishing down here a world-class fishing destination without a lot of background information, tips and tricks on how to fish in that area. So that's another reason why my strategy was based on that. Um, secrets, again, that kind of correlates to that, is that blowing the lids off of the secrets of fishing the Florida Keys. Um, just basically, fishing to me is fishing, okay? I enjoy it, I want other people to enjoy it. If I want to be able to fish in the future, okay, I gotta make sure that there's people utilizing it and doing it correctly so there is a future of fishing. And then standards. Um, like I said earlier, I probably could get a lot more subscribers, a lot more viewers by opening the channel up and doing all that kind of oddball stuff. But it's not what I wanted to do. It's not the type of person that I am and it's definitely not the focus of my channel. Uh, the people that I have watching my videos are the people that I want watching my videos. And I stand pretty good guard on by controlling my comments on getting people to not watch my videos and not come to my channel when uh, you get those people and the trolls and stuff. First thing out, stop watching my videos, stop watching my channel, you don't like something, 
man, don't click on my channel, don't watch it, okay? I'm very much into that just as much. Not so much just to get at people, but I just don't need that there. And I'm fine with not having that view and not having that subscriber because I do know that my subscriber base is very strong. Um, and I can attest to that is when I needed help during the Hurricane Irma and the um, uh, YouTube demonetizing my videos. I put out one video just saying, hey, I'm getting screwed over. I need some help. And I got a bunch of people jumping on my Patreon account and basically flooding that with cash. And I'm like, dang, okay. Enough so that I haven't done any more time on it because I want to focus on taking care of those people like I said I would before I start opening it up again. But that's again, I'm very, very in tune to my viewers, okay, and the quality of viewers that I have. So I appreciate you guys. But anyways, that there is my key standards of strategies that I had. Okay, so that's a breakdown of my two-year anniversary of doing YouTube. I uh, hope the information was, one, useful or at least two, interesting. Uh, especially if you made it this far, you're one of those people that needed the info or just enjoyed me talking. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be doing another one of these videos next week. And I think what I'm going to do is a top 10 not strategies or things to do for the up and coming YouTube fishing channel. Uh, I thought should be fairly interesting. But uh, anyways, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.